Hey, I'm Eric Hummel, and we're here at Community Roots Garden today. And today we'll be making a pile of compost here with Oxnard City Corps. And so basically compost is the way that we create and maintain our fertility in our garden. So you can see these crops behind us are growing pretty well, uh, pretty green and very healthy looking plants. And we do that by uh, creating a rich biological diversity in our soil. So we use materials that we get either for free or cheap. Uh, today we used a lot of horse manure that we got from a local stable. We also used a lot of straw, waste straw that we had sitting here at the garden for a couple years that we were using. We also have a lot of our vegetable scraps left over from our harvest, a lot of cabbage leaves, uh, a lot of weeds from around the perimeter of our garden. <coughs> And then we also used a lot of wood chips that we have. We use a lot of wood chips in our garden as well. And we use the wood chips in our compost pile. And then we also used uh, a lot of water to keep it a moist environment. So basically we're making compost in order to feed our soil. So we're feeding our soil with a diversity of microorganisms including uh, beneficial bacteria species, all kinds of beneficial fungi that we're putting in there. And then we're creating our soil food web by encouraging the growth of ciliates, flagellates, and other protozoa. So we're putting all these materials together in a different layers, in a correct proportions. And it's pretty flexible in the proportions, but uh, you can see as we're making this pile here, the kind of proportions that we're using. And then as this is completed, it, the pile is going to heat up um, to a, a peak temperature. Usually it'll be about around 160 degrees or so. And once it reaches that peak, we're going to turn the pile. And we're going to keep turning it until it doesn't peak anymore, until it's at the ambient temperature outside, and that's when the compost is completed. Um, that will take anywhere from five or six times of turning the pile, and anywhere from one to two months, I'd say, depending on how finely chopped up the vegetative material is before we begin to create the pile. So we have this fungi here, it's growing on these wood chips and that's why we put these wood chips into the pile. Uh, they're basically a food source for all this fungal species which is basically mushrooms, the roots of the mushrooms so to speak. So we're using these uh, wood chips over here that are from uh, material that has been sitting here over the winter so there's a lot of good species in there that have been growing well over the winter. We also put in wood chips that are freshly made because there's different species of fungi that are in those kinds of wood chips as well. Mm. It's reading 140 degrees. I think it's time to turn it. So um, what we've got here is um, actually a 16 day old compost pile and um, we're about to turn it for the fifth time today. Um, the reason that we're doing that is because after a while all the microorganisms inside of the compost pile actually use up all of the oxygen level so we have to turn it every so often to regain the oxygen content in there so that they have more to, th to thrive off of. Um, we know when we, we know to turn it whenever it, whenever the peak in temp, whenever it peaks in temperature. Um, usually it gets up to around 160 degrees, but since it's been about since it's been about a month now, it's actually it's actually stopped getting that hot, and now it's about 130 140 degrees. So now we know it's time to it's time to turn it again.